Welcome to the Minecraft Let's Build series in which we do two things. One is inhaling helium for fun. Well, no. Well, yeah, it's, it, it's fun, but we're not inhaling it. And the other one is asking the viewers what we should do in certain places. And in the previous episodes, what I asked of you was to come up with suggestions what we should do in this place here to cover up this very flat wall. And there were quite a few suggestions quite a few lovely ones indeed and what I went well decided to go for is to go for the suggestion of Minecraft user 37 which is an incredibly creative name isn't it um, but no hate because well this is coming from the guy whose name is madness 64 which is fairly better but still bad okay so uh, yeah let's not be creative with names, but let's be creative with Minecraft buildings, which is a way better way to do things. Okay, so I'm gonna make a chimney, which was the thing that he suggested, and it should be well added to the outside of the house, obviously, and I'm gonna do this because it's something um, which is which I have done in other places of the city. Wait, I'm gonna show you real quick if I just was faster if I just had the ability to type in slash speed and then a number and then I would speed up that would be amazing but uh, now it's too late okay as you can see here for example now this is this is one of the areas that I previously finished um, as you can see very uh, connected all the buildings are very connected to each other and these two here are examples of the chimneys that I've been adding to the outside of uh, outsides of houses and I'm gonna make one which is gonna be very similar to them uh, I think they they suit the building style just fine and well just wait a second till I fly back uh, if I just could type in slash speed uh, I can but I'm too lazy okay just honestly that's my problem mostly I'm too lazy to type it even in I'm just gonna fly two minutes instead of typing slash speed for like three seconds or something okay so that's what we're gonna do here and then we're gonna ju just do it right in the beginning um, therefore I want to add a, f a small fireplace not nothing too fancy I think this this style is uh, best um, best fit for uh, something or yeah, for a region which is not too fancy with, uh, well, housings for the commoners and stuff. And therefore, the fireplace shouldn't be too complex either. And something, as you, as you saw earlier, that I do is to make them turn without really having a reason. It's just for aesthetics, just to avoid having one straight line of blocks going up. And then I'm going to hide it here and it's going to go into the roof and it's going to look out here. Uh, this is something also mainly for aesthetics but also from a logical point of view. Yeah, if you, if you put it into the, the roof again just to stabilize it a little bit more uh, it, this could be the explanation. Mainly I'm, I'm doing it because of aesthetics. Um, okay, so this will be it. As you saw on the previous examples that I showed you, I'm always adding a few signs here just kind of to simulate a contraption that holds the whole thing to the building or stabilize it as one, uh, once again. Maybe to, well, resist strong winds or whatever. Once again, it's mainly aesthetics, but also it could be explained to be something useful. Okay, so for the roof material, uh, not the roof material, the wall material for um, the first floor, I decided to go with cobblestone. I'm going to show you why I decided this in just a second, once I finished filling in the floor here. There we go. Okay, so um, if we take a look here, we used cobblestone for the previous building, but since we have this stone, uh, stone brick archway, this stands out much more if you look, uh, look at it from the street. And therefore, using cobblestone once again will kind of put emphasis a little bit more on these parts here and therefore in the well in the long run it will look uh, better I think okay so this is our our basic shape that we use for other buildings as well and I'm gonna randomize it a little bit so basically I'm gonna add a stair here I want to add some whoops stone 
here, smooth stone. And the new block, as you can see, I'm on 1.8. Finally, I'm on 1.8. And I'm gonna use this block, which I still can't pronounce, or I, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Uh, andesite, or maybe maybe you, you pronounce it with a slight French accent on the seat. I, I don't know, je ne sais pas. But, uh, yeah. Let's just use this block because I think it, it goes wonderfully with uh, with cobblestone, smooth stone, and even with clay. So basically, it's a very nice uh, method of also uh, randomizing streets, which which is what I've been doing. Um, so yeah, a, a new amazing block, one of the few really really good blocks. The other ones I, I tend to disregard them because they they are unsuitable for my kinds of buildings. Of course, they they probably have their uses, but well, I fail to see the uses of them in my buildings. So yeah, uh, a little bit more cobblestone and one on the seat here. Just gonna keep calling it on the seat, simply because it sounds, it sounds more sophisticated, doesn't it? Oh, I'm just gonna get some on the seat. Along with my uh, 1975 Chateau Libre, which is supposed to be a wine, I don't know. Je ne sais pas. Don't hate me for imitating a French accent. I'm, I'm sometimes I'm imitating a German accent, and I know I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm allowed to do that because I am German. But uh, why shouldn't I also be able to imitate imitate other accents? Which is something that my my videos have been missing. That right? I mean. Every YouTuber uses accents just to kind of kill time or to bring in some, well, pathetic laughs. Because honestly, okay, wait, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna... So, uh, first of all, wall materials, wall materials. Uh, I think I'm, I'm just gonna go with uh, wool with a little bit of, of course, randomized light gray wool because this is the only building where we really did it. And basically this was well, formerly my main building material. As you can see, okay, we used cobblestone, we used uh, colored clay, we used light gray wool with clay. Um, and this is the only building that once again used uh, these um, combinations of wool and light gray wool. But you can't really tell that it's too big from the outside, right? So we don't really see a lot of surface with it and therefore I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this combination on this building. Yeah. Um, this, as, as you can see, this is sometimes a nice way to, to go about it. Um, most of the time I'm just filling in the walls with the main building material and afterwards I'm filling in the, um, the secondary, well, the, the randomization material. Uh, but sometimes it's even nice to do it the other way around. You kind of get a better impression of it, but it's still, you have to be able to, to imagine what the wall will look like in the end. And it's, it's easier if you first use the the main material and then add the secondary but um, well as an advanced technique you can also do it the other way around which is by the way something I didn't explain it earlier but I did the same thing with the, the with the on the seat at the bottom level so yeah just keep that in mind you, you might want to give it a try it might be helpful for you okay and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go up maybe a little more on this wall here to have a little bit of an imbalanced feeling uh, here and this wall is gonna almost gonna be only wool and a little bit more herp de derp de derp burp a carrot for those of you who got that joke which wasn't really a joke was a quote. Uh, you are awesome. Of course, the other ones, all of you other lovely viewers, you're also awesome, but they, the ones that understood the joke, the quote, might just be a little bit more awesome. All right. I'm just gonna also randomize this row right here. And now, I don't think there's too much left to do, uh, on, honestly. Um, of course, wait. Of course, we need decorations. Uh, we're gonna need this, and we're gonna need a door. A carrot! 
Um, the herb, the herb, the herb, the herb, the door. And I'm looking for cobblestone walls. Where are they? Where are they? They are here, I think. I think. I think. Do I think? Yeah, I think. I thought. Alright. Uh, one here, one there, one there, one there. And you fill in all the windows. Uh, those two windows up here, they might not make too much sense, actually. Um, because you can st only see the roofs of the other buildings from the inside. But still, it might be nice, and also we just want to have a, a, a natural light source. Don't want to be too dependent on um, torches, right? Forgot to fill in these blocks here. And, of course, the door. The, the door! The door knows everything, it sees everything. I'm making too many quotes today. Okay. Um, randomize the fireplace. Which, oh, which leads me to, yeah, I should, I should also add the fireplace on the inside of the building, right? So far I didn't do it. Um, yeah, but, okay, this, this one, this, this is something I was was hoping to get. So basically, um, I explained it in the previous videos time and time again that I, I'm going for this kind of wave shape of the um, of these cross beams so that they go down and up and up and two down and up again and down, blah, 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 blah. And the same thing should be achieved uh, with the roofs, but in a different manner. So as you can see, uh, we start here on this level, then we go down two blocks with the next roof. We get on one block on the back here, but two blocks on the front. Then we go down even further, whatever, three or four blocks here, and then we go up five blocks again. So this is what, something that really adds some dynamic, uh, yeah, some dynamic feeling to the style by just uh, making the roofs and the buildings themselves um, different, of different heights. And I think I want to add another chimney. Well, as you can see, we, we added four chimneys here, so we need another chimney on this building, and I think I'm going to do it the same way we, that we did on the other side, so I'm just going to add it here. Just get a place. I want to add it like this, and I want to have another randomization part in here and in there. And the other one's going to be quite simple like this one. There we go. Wonderful. Wonderfully done. And now, what am I going to do? First of all, let's add some minor details here. Some green. Not too much, though. Some green. And now, moving on to the inside. Now, this looks like a mess. Um, as we said in the previous episode, we should pl split up this room into two unequally sized um, rooms. So... This is what I'm gonna do. So the there's gonna be a door here on the left. Let's make it on the right side so that you can get us go straight ahead. Or no, no. Let's make it on the left side because we need the fireplace here, here, right here. All right. So uh, first of all, I'm gonna fill in the walls real quick. Where smooth stone? There, smooth stone. And I'm gonna do 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 do. Herp, do derp, derp, derp with some on the seat and then there's going to be where is spruce wood spruce wood slabs so now i'm gonna fill in the walls not the walls but the floor with the spruce wood slabs so this is gonna be the first floor and then i'm gonna add something else um Simply because the, if you if you take a look at this one, uh, it's a quite a tall room, even though there's no need for it, and uh, we could separate it into two two f layers, like two floors, like this. But this is I do this in most buildings, but this should be a, a tall room. But uh, the problem is that, that it looks plain. Uh, so I'm just gonna add something else here, and I'm gonna make like a stabilizing archway on the inside of the building. And it's gonna go like uh, this, and then I'm gonna support the middle of um, the floor, the upper floor here. So this is a nice way. Of course, we could use uh, stone for this, but to use um, to use spruce wood stairs and stuff like that makes more sense since these are frames and the colors of those 
of the logs and the spruce logs, uh, the spruce wood planks are quite similar. So I'm gonna do the same thing here, just with a little bit of a different look like this. So that the archway is gonna go a little bit differently, like this, and then there's gonna be something like this. All right, and then we have. Sp Space for a ladder climbing up this wall here. I'll get rid of this one. And then we go up further, further, further. Of course, we could use a stairway, which was, by the way, also a nice um, suggestion made by another user, another viewer, mm, to have a stair on the outside to go to the second floor. Um, I simply like the, uh, the the chimney idea better, simply because it was it, w it was more suitable to my style. I, I should actually use more of the um, I should actually build more buildings with attached um, ah, attached stairs to the outside to get to the second floor because it's that would be authentic. Many medieval buildings. Um, had these kinds of uh, kind of doors uh, on the second floor because there was too little space on the inside to properly build a staircase. But um, in my case, it's it's always built <sighs> to build with ladders. It's that's just it. I, I should I should try and build a little bit more with with other materials though. I'm gonna try that in the future. I'm gonna try, okay, uh, basic fireplace, something like this. It's not gonna be too fancy. Honestly, I'm I'm terrible with interiors, so... Uh, so there you go. Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm not even building interiors, so I, ca I can't really tell if I'm terrible with interiors, because I never do build them, and therefore I don't know if I'm terrible. Uh, but I can just imagine that I'm per terrible with them. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, okay, some little bit of more randomization here. Is that a stair? It is not. There we can do it like this. Great. Okay, I'm not gonna actually light it on fire because I always like to build uh, fireproof. If I want to make a good impression or if I want to make a nice scenery, then I can of course put a little bit of fire there, but I like to make it fireproof, so in case of plug and failure, that still there's gonna be nothing that can burn down my whole city, because it's majorly made out of wood. Alright, um, so we've got these rooms going, and upstairs we've got these two rooms going, and something left here. So, I don't quite know if I should separate it into two two floors, or if it should be one big one, but then again, okay. I'm gonna do it like this. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. And the the uh, floor on the bottom, uh, which is the, the high floor, uh, wait, let me just change this. Uh, this should be fine. I'm just gonna add a torch here. And a uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for slabs. Slabs. Because here I want to turn this into a little bit more of a flat roof like this. That's, this looks nicer. And, oh, something I completely disregarded so far. I think I want to have this torch being here. Um, I'm going to show you why in a second, which is also an advanced building tactic. But first of all, um, the reason, to, just to remind you, the reason why I had to make this tall room here is I either had to separate it into two different rooms or cut out a part where you uh, like waste one block of, of space on the inside because the reason for overhanging uh, for overhanging parts in medieval buildings is always that the people needed more space and they had a different uh, a certain layer that they could build on but they could expand that to the sides uh, not as much as they wanted but they could expand it a lot so therefore they always had these overhangs so that they had more space on the inside on the upper floors and i also want to do this not uh, i want to prevent um wasting this this block here and therefore i'm always making one floor on this level where this overhanging part from the outside is. 
And now to showing you why I placed the torch here. Now what I want to go for is something that I explained in another video. Uh, I think it was a talking about video, I'm not quite sure if it was a talking about video or a building tips video. And let me just TL Knight real quick. So it always kind of makes a difference where you place the torches. Um, if they are close to the windows or if they are further away because therefore you get another lighting on the outside. Obviously I'm playing on, on bright now. Let's turn this a little bit down, not on moody because otherwise you won't be able to see anything. Okay, so um, I think I want to have this window to be lit up more. So I'm going to place the torch closer to the, the window. There we go. There we go. Doesn't look too nice on the inside to have, in my opinion, to have the build, uh, the the torch right next to the window. And here I'm gonna move it away a little bit more, once again, like this. And now the impression should be different. Should be, should be, should be, should be. Please be different. Yeah. Yeah. You can see that there's less attention on this part and more attention on this part. It's only a slight difference and you obviously only can see it whenever it's dark, but it's always something that I, I'm i trying to, to um, keep in mind. And as I said, it's a, an advanced building tactic, so if you are building on a server where the, the night and day circle still, uh, cycle still applies, then obviously um, it could be a nice thing f uh, if you took a look into it. Um, so, okay. Right, and with that, that is pretty much it. So in the next episode, what we're going to do is to continue building these two buildings here, these smaller ones. It's probably going to take one episode for both of them because it's going to be small houses, as I said. So then we have to find a way to cover up this here, but I'm not quite sure. Depending on the, the size of the buildings, um, it might not be a problem. Otherwise, we're going to have to find a way here. And also one thing I like, uh, most of the times I dislike it, but uh, in this case, since we added uh, this fairly simple chimney here, we divided this this part into two, well, fairly equally sized um, parts of the wall. Um, this is something that I usually don't like because these, these in total, wait, three by, uh, these 12 blocks here are very plain once again, a very plain surface. But sometimes it's even nice, and this is totally depending on the on the next buildings here if they are complex enough. Sometimes when there's too much complexity in uh, in the picture, well, if you if you take a look at this scenery, sometimes it's nice if there's a lot of complexity on this side here to have simplicity, to have it as well a contrast. So not, which is also something that many people uh, disregard. For example, when they build when they build a cathedral and they put like they only use stairs for everything. I'm I'm using a lot of stairs in my um, bigger builds, like the cathedral. But I like to have also a lot of um, well regular blocks like stone bricks, not only to be able to randomize it, but also to not um, have too much complexity in uh, in the picture. And uh, therefore, sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of a portion which is simple. I don't quite like it that much, but in the greater picture, whenever there's the other buildings around, it will look better. Trust me. And you're gonna find out in the next episode. So, yeah, with that, there's pretty much nothing left to say for me. But after Madness 64, and as always, please rate, comment, subscribe, join the crew, become a mate today. So you will hopefully see you next time. Bye bye.